Hey, I'm about to embark on the trip of a lifetime, a 13-day tour of Poland. But why? The Polish Genealogical Society of America, or PGSA, provided the impetus for the trip by offering a number of genealogically geared tours to Poland this year. The PGSA's website explains that genealogy and history will form the basis of the tours. So, besides exploring the beauty and culture of Poland, we'll visit national and church archives to learn what they hold and how to work with them, and we'll see some of the historic sites and ethnographic parks to expand our understanding of what life was like for our ancestors. Each of the tours will be organized by prominent tour companies based in Poland under the PGSA's direction. Over the years, each has been used by PGSA members for individual research and personalized tours. Of the trips PGSA offered this year, I chose Prussian Head to Toe. It seemed to me this particular tour would bring me closest to the areas where three of my great-grandparents and their families had lived. My Prussian Head to Toe tour will be run by a group called Discovering Roots Poznan. First, our group will fly into Gdansk's Lech Valenza Airport, exploring and staying four nights. Then we'll be on to Tarun for three nights. It's here that we'll visit the area from which my dad's maternal grandmother and my great-grandmother Sophie Nedrowska Wistor came and where she and her family lived. We'll then spend another three nights in Poznan and finally explore Wrocław and the surrounding area, spending the final two nights there. The Wrocław area is of special importance to me since it's the starting point for the Schultzes, actually, Schultz without the T. Carl and Beata, my dad's paternal grandparents and of course, my great-grandparents. On day 13, will leave from the Wrocław airport, making the 13-hour flight home. So who were these great-grandparents, and what do I know about them now? How did I come to know their points of origin, and what more do I hope to learn about them as a result of this tour? I'll try to cover that in parts two and three of my Poland pre-tour overview. Thanks for watching.